We have Andy Schroh for the president of Tier 1 Research here with us today. And he's here to tell us how he thought the event in Las Vegas turned out. Hi Andy, thanks for joining us. So this was the very first Tier 1 hosting summit and it seems to have turned out very well. Why did you decide to put it together? Uh, we've been waiting for a chance to put a uh, conference together for a long time. When uh, an analyst gets into the business of research, you are really smart because you connect with a lot of people in the industry. And so we've definitely connected with a lot of people in this industry. We've broadened our coverage to more than just hosting and to be able to take advantage of that and uh, open up our network of wonderful and brilliant people in this industry to attendees at this conference. It's been something we've been looking forward to and very pleased that it turned out the way it did. Great. Tell us a bit about some of the feedback you got at the conference. I actually have yet to hear anything negative about the conference, so either we have the most polite uh, set of attendees or this truly did go off perfectly. Uh, very pleased with almost everyone's comments. Regular comments like, this is the best conference I've ever been to, uh, really uh, warm my heart personally and really make me thankful for the team that helped put it on. In your opinion, Andy, what worked particularly well with this event? Oh, I would say the level of commentary uh, going from really detailed to very high level, I think was evident on almost every panel. That really helped bring in people that were coming here for specific answers versus people that were just coming here for a new perspective on the industry. So I really like that that breadth was expressed on almost every panel that we had. Have you developed any ideas as to what you want to do differently next year? Yeah, we're obviously going to start marketing this early year so we can get more of the end users. The end users definitely need more of a purpose and reason to come, especially when it looks like they're just going to be sold to by a bunch of vendors. Uh, so we're going to try to create more of a community environment and bring, as someone else has recommended to be, the developer community as well as the end user community uh, directly into this. We're going to definitely try to make it more global, so we're either going to be augmenting this with an international event or definitely making this a dual track where there might be an international panel as well as a U.S. panel, just since the markets are pretty fragmented in that, uh, that manner. We also will probably make sure to have some of the best speakers that were here at this conference get some more airtime and chance to speak. I think from our evaluations we'll hear pretty clearly who was favored and uh, who didn't get as many uh, kudos, uh, so we'll make sure that those people that were really liked by the audience get some more time to speak. Can you tell us a bit about the SaaS event and when that's going to happen? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, the Software as a Service uh, Part 2 will be held in May. Uh, we're going to pick location probably within the next month, but last year it was at Vegas. And if I have my choice, almost every event will be in Las Vegas. Uh, it's a wonderful place to come and entertain. Uh, so the first event was all around helping show that there is a community, that this is a huge movement, it's a tidal wave waiting to happen. And so I think that's blatantly obvious in the marketplace now. So we no longer need to help deliver education in the marketplace, now we need to help make sure that people understand the breadth of this tidal wave. So I think we'll be introducing flavors of which verticals have key SaaS, event, key SaaS vendors, which verticals have already started to reach some maturity and already need to start showing differentiation rather than just opening up themselves to the market. So I think we'll really have a lot of new avenues to explore and really help uh, bus software as a service wide open. Great. Thanks for joining us today, Andy. It was good getting to chat with you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for participating. Thank you for sponsoring me.